Healthcare kills 98,000 people at least unnecessarily every year from medical error. And that's truly an organizational problem. So one of the things that I'm very interested in is understanding how healthcare organizations can become safer and embrace what's been called a safety culture. So that means that safety is systematically prioritized as a way to reduce those errors. And that's been incredibly problematic in healthcare. And it's been problematic for many reasons. Some of it is the inherent complexity of the work. The safest course of action is not always clear. Another problem is the professional identity of both the physicians and the nurses. They think physician autonomy should trump everything else. And healthcare organizations are also incredibly fragmented. When you think of a hospital, you think of that as a coherent organization, but in fact, it's really not. It's really a loosely coupled system where there are a set of units that are housed in the same building, but they really operate in pretty autonomous ways. And you'll see huge degrees of variation across units. And that's something that makes a systematic safety culture that means the same thing to all people, especially difficult in healthcare. And then lastly, leaders have not been trained in a general leader kind of way. People who run many healthcare organizations tend to be physicians or clinicians, right, who were promoted for their clinical expertise and their technical expertise rather than for any unique leadership skills that they may possess. So what I've done in my work is tried to take a broad look at the entire management literature and how it weighs in on how organizations can become safer. I spent a lot of time looking at human resource practices, how people are selected, trained, how their work is designed. So I've developed a model with a couple of co-authors at the University of Michigan where we look at three elements. And one is what can leaders do to enable it? What can the people on the front line do to enact it? And then how did the two work together in order to reflect on the outcomes they experience, both good and bad, and how that can help healthcare be safer and more effective?